The Canadian government announced on Thursday that 41 of its diplomats in India have departed a day prior to the deadline set by New Delhi for their withdrawal, failing which they are liable to lose diplomatic immunity. However, Ottawa is unlikely to escalate the diplomatic row as Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs, Melanie Jolly, said Ottawa has decided not to reciprocate even as the development are defined as expulsion of the Canadian diplomats. The diplomatic drawdown came after India sought parity in the strength of diplomats' presence by bringing down those stationed in the country from 62 to 21. Speaking at a press conference in Ottawa on Thursday, Jolly said, Quote, I can confirm that India has formally conveyed its plan to unilaterally remove diplomatic immunities for all but 21 Canadian diplomats and dependents in Delhi by tomorrow, that is October 20th, she added. Given the implications of India's action on the safety of our diplomats, we have facilitated their safe departure from India. Unquote. This means that our diplomats and their families have now left and are on their way home, she added. In a statement from the country's foreign ministry, Global Affairs Canada, Jolly said, quote, India accredited each and every one of the Canadian diplomats and they are now expelling them. And all of those diplomats were carrying out their duties in good faith and to the greater benefit of both the countries, unquote. Them specific information to back your claim. Uh, so can you clarify, have you shown them the evidence you're basing your claim on and have you walked them through that case and shown them how Canada has reached this conclusion? We've had numerous conversations with um, India before the Prime Minister went in front of the House and made his declaration. This was not a surprise to the government of India. A surprise, but the evidence, did you show them and the evidence? through these different conversations, the uh, Indian officials were made aware of the credible allegations. And so based on that, um, India has um, decided to take their own decisions, which are precedent setting, and revoking the diplomatic immunity of 41 diplomats is not only unprecedented, but also contrary to international law. And so in that sense, because this is so unprecedented and would put so many countries, different diplomats around the world in danger, we decide not to reciprocate. Okay, so that's a repetition of your statement, and thank you. I understand what your point is, but you're not answering the question directly on that point. But you did... But, Tonda, um, I've, ref I've answered your question. You've asked me the question whether we had conversation and presented evidence. If you evidence. showed them the evidence, I've yes. Shown, I've, this, I've, I've told you <clears throat> that there were meetings and information was shared. So I answer, I've answered your question.